I want you to know that I thought a lot about this decision. I sat with it for a while. Two years ago, I signed a deal for three more years, and I always knew in my heart that season 19 would be my last. My instinct told me it's time. If you haven't heard yet, Ellen DeGeneres has announced a major change in her life, mainly in that the upcoming 19th season of her daytime talk show is going to be coming to an end. She's done several interviews and made various claims about why she's leaving, and whether this is true or not, the show itself does indeed appear to be ending, which obviously is getting a wide range of reactions from people both close to Ellen and those who watch from afar. But what are they saying? Allow me to break it down for you, but before I do that, go ahead and do me a favor, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get started. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number five. 19th is her last to say it today yes uh you know emotional it was it was the first time it really I well mean, i told my staff and my crew and that was emotional that and I, i'm glad that before while this retirement might go and seem sudden according to ellen this was something long in the works i was going to stop after season 16. that was going to be my last season and they wanted to sign for four more years and i said i'd sign maybe for one they were saying there was no way to sign for one we can't do that with the affiliates and the station needs more of a commitment so we settled on three more years and i knew that would be my last that's been the plan all along from my own words that they didn't hear it any place else um and that was that was emotional um because i haven't been sleeping i've been trying to you know anticipate how to tell them and hope that everybody would take it okay and everybody kept saying even when i signed you know that's going to be 19. Don't you want to just go to 20? It's a good number. So is 19. She went on to note that she apparently had no reservations about that decision after a key episode debuted. When we did our 3000th show, they showed that highlights montage and everybody was emotional. We all hugged and everyone had tears in their eyes. And Mike Darnell was here going, you really want to end this? Look, it's going to be really hard on the last day, but I also know it's time. I'm a creative person, and when you're a creative person, you constantly need to be challenged, which is why I decided to host the Oscars, or why I decided to go back to stand-up when I didn't think I would. I just needed something to challenge me, and as great as this show is and as fun as it is, it's just not challenging anymore. I need something new to challenge me. We'll get to that challenge part a bit later, but for now, let's talk about certain reactions that have been had around the world, and arguably most importantly, on the internet. A lot of people were very emotional, and I got emotional. So that was uh, that was that first step, and then today was the first time telling you know everybody else. So it was it was. Uh... Number four, Warner Brothers. As the bosses of Ellen and her program, obviously Warner Brothers had a high stake in the show's success, and of course they were one of the first to go and state how sad they were that everything was ending. Although all good things must come to an end, you still have hope that truly great things never will, says Warner Brothers unscripted TV president Mike Darnell. I didn't think I'd be emotional because I really am prepared for this. I've really given it a lot of thought, but emotional. I could see it in your eyes. Yeah. What was the emotion with it? Who as recently as late April was still prodding DeGeneres to reconsider. He calls her eponymous series an absolute phenomenon, having established itself over nearly two decades on air as the premier destination for both superstars and incredible heartfelt human interest stories. He went on, Ellen was and is an indelible piece of the television landscape and it will be sorely missed. It should be noted that a lot of people criticized Warner Media during the internal investigation concerning the scandal that rocked Ellen and her show last year because they found a lack of evidence to key accusations, and yet they both fired key personnel. Uh, it's it's everything. I mean, you know, I think what I, I think I got choked up on saying that this has been a, the best experience of my life. I think that's when I got choked up, and it, it, because it has been. But Ellen walked away basically scot-free. Something to think about. Number three, the internet. Oh yeah, you knew this was coming. Because the internet was absolutely going to hop on this the moment they heard about it. Why? Because they were one of the biggest proponents of trying to cancel Ellen. Because once the main allegations about the toxic workplace that Ellen DeGeneres had through both her and her executive producers, they wanted her gone. But if, if I never do another thing in my life, this has been the thing I'm most proud of. You know, to do something for 19 years, especially something that nobody thought would happen. And for a while, it seemed like they would get their wish. Obviously, that didn't fully happen, but now they're getting their revenge, if you will. Because when the news broke that Ellen was not only retiring, but that she claimed it wasn't because of the low ratings she had in her 18th season, the lowest ever for her, or the scandals that hit her, they went nuts. Or more specifically, they went Dakota Johnson, 
because they drudged up the all-time classic interview where Ellen tried to get snippy with Dakota Johnson for not inviting her to her B-Day party. And um, how was the party? I wasn't invited. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. Last year, no, last time I was on the show, last year. When in fact, Dakota did invite her, and it was Ellen who didn't reveal why she never came. The line, actually, that's not the truth, Ellen, was used a lot in conjunction with the retirement article, because online viewers weren't buying for one second that Ellen was retiring because it was time, but rather they knew she was basically running away while she could. Some even joked that it was Dakota Johnson who was the catalyst for the downfall, and that she had planned Ellen's downfall all along. Or give a chance, you know, I had to fight really hard to get this, um, this show, so, um, you know, it's just, it's something I'm really proud of. Something At the present time, Dakota Johnson has not confirmed or denied this, but if she did, oh yeah, she'd be the boss. Number two, ex-employees. Aside from those on the internet who are glad to hear Ellen's reign of terror end, there is one more group that is glad that Ellen is ending her show, those she and her team abused. Despite what Ellen has said, there were a lot of ex-employees who came forward to talk about the abuse at the hands of both Ellen and the executive producers, and many were furious when Ellen joked her way out of the apology at the beginning of the 18th season. If you're watching because you love me, thank you. If you're watching because you don't love me, welcome. <laughs> How was everybody's summer, good? So to see her announce that the show is ending is music to their ears. I think this is consequence culture. People are like cancel culture, but no. This is a consequence of somebody and an institution that got away with fostering a super unhealthy and toxic work environment for a really long time, one former employee said. I think they did all the right things to make it look like they were making changes. They fired some people. They gave Twitch an executive producer position because they didn't have a lot of diversity, and they made it look like they did all the right things, but it still wasn't enough. It all comes out in the wash at the end and you realize this is really what she deserves and what the show deserves. And while Ellen proclaimed in certain interviews that if the scandal had affected her, she wouldn't have come back for the 18th season, certain former employees aren't buying that logic. Mine was great. <laughs> Super terrific. I'm so happy to be back in the studio. There are a lot of things I want to talk about. I've been looking forward to addressing it all. I think she only came back to this past season because she probably had to in order to save face, one former employee said. The show took a tank. The ratings tanked for a lot of reasons. We had a pandemic, but they also tanked because she's unlikable now, and it definitely permeated the culture of how people feel about Ellen. Another former employee agreed, saying if the Ellen show was maintaining its popularity with viewers, it would be hard for DeGeneres and Warner Brothers to walk away. I don't know if, if every single day I'm smiling and dancing. I know that, you know, if I am having a day where I'm walking around and I... If the ratings were still phenomenal, if her ratings were wonderful and none of this stuff came out about the show, why wouldn't she sign on for another five years like Oprah and do 25 years? The former employee said, if none of this came out, she'd still be going strong, laughing all the way to the bank and getting that daily applause. The truth came out. I'm glad it finally came out, the former employee said. She's going down with a stain on her name. That whole show is just going down with the truth. Does that mean I'm not kind? Or does it mean I'm a human being that has emotions and I'm thinking about something? You know, so, you know, it's, it, you know, I joked about it in my stand-ups. Number one, Ellen's legacy. The last line is rather poignant and it highlights a grander truth here. While Ellen is coming back for one last season, that'll end in 2022. No matter what she does or says, there is no hiding the fact that these scandals that rocked her in 2020 and continue to affect her today aren't going to just be erased. Or else, you know, the be kind lady honked at me. Like, I can't, you can't do anything with that. It's just, I, it wasn't supposed to be my title. It was just a message. Her show may end, but the way it ended will be talked about. And even if she keeps her own shows like Game of Games, which itself went through a ratings dip and other changes, the stain is still going to be there. Yes, she'll still be Ellen, and her wealth that she's accrued during her time on her talk show won't go away. But unlike her predecessor in Oprah, she won't go out on a high note, and that's going to sting. I don't know. My motto is, you know, still, you know, I, it's still be kind. I just don't, you know, I just don't want that to be my label. And there you have it, everyone. A look at Ellen DeGeneres retiring from the realm of daytime TV and how people are reacting to her departure. Do you think that why she's leaving is genuine or is it just how she's trying to paint a certain picture? Are you personally glad that her show is ending? Who do you think will rise up to try and take her mantle? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel. So, the past 18 years, you have to know, has changed my life. This show has been the greatest experience of my life.